konnichiwa minasan. So today is a little bit of a different video. I thought that I'd sit down with you guys and I kind of give you guys a behind the scenes look into the mistakes and what actually goes wrong in my kitchen when recipes fail because it happens. I don't show it in the videos but oh I promise you it happens and sometimes it ends in tears, sometimes it ends in frustration and we have two guests here today because I'm that weird. I've got my sheep stuffed animals on my couch and their names are Gordon Ramsay because he's a ram and then the smaller one is Heston Baumenthal because I am that weird. Anyway. <laughs> so the first recipe that actually ever went really horribly wrong on my channel was my jelly snow globes recipe that I made a few years ago and it's one of my favorite recipes. I think it looks so cool because it looks exactly like a snow globe and the light shines through it but it went very very wrong the first few times I tried to make it. So the base that I made the trees with is called nerikiri and that's a paste and so I went online because I didn't know how to make it and I kind of researched, looked at a few recipes and I found one that seemed really reliable. So the ingredients that I use are from a Japanese grocery store which wasn't really that close to my house at the time so it's not like I could just run out and buy some more if I screwed up and that's exactly what happened. So I think the problem with the recipe was that they used milliliters instead of grams and it should have been grams. So I was using the incorrect ratio of water and the flour base that I use. So I was so excited I was making it, I was filming it just like so and it wasn't working and it was just like breaking my heart the more and more it didn't come together. But you know I thought like okay fine, I'm just going to try it again tomorrow and see if it works. Tried it again, didn't work again, and I was sitting in my living room thinking like, this is the best recipe and it could be so cool, why isn't it working? And I was just like crying so much, I called my mom, I had a really <laughs> huge meltdown. But I was able to fix it and luckily I thought of switching the ingredients from milliliters to grams and it worked out, so thank God for that. <laughs> And so the next story I have for you isn't really a failure on the recipes part, more like a, a brain fart on my part. So a few months ago for Valentine's Day I made the homemade hard candies video which I love making, it was so exciting and I pre-made a lot of the other colors so that I just show one color on camera. So the night before when I was making all the other colors I used the larger pot and the sugar only boiled up to a certain height so I figured that when I was filming I could use a smaller pot because the other one was still dirty and I didn't want to wash it. <laughs> Lazy me. So I started filming, I added all the ingredients, it was bubbling away but the sugar really started to rise and I realized that the pot was actually way too small so freaked out because the sugar kind of poured over the pan. I was freaking out like this is hot sugar, it's not fun to clean up at all, oh my god. But you know I was like okay this is fine, this is fine, I'll just pour it into a new pan and it'll be okay. So what I actually failed to do anything about was the hot sugar that had spilled out onto the actual physical stove that I was using because it's a portable stove that I used to film on. But I just thought like once it heated up it might smoke a little bit but it would just kind of melt and disintegrate. And oh my gosh I was so wrong. So I was filming, things were going well, it wasn't boiling up over the pot, I thought we were in the clear. And then I started seeing smoke and I'm like you know what it's fine, it's smoke, it's just gonna smoke a little bit and then it'll be fine. Um, and then I saw fire and so <laughs> this is where the brain fart comes in. I'm used to cooking with gas so when I see fire underneath the pot it's no big deal. It's supposed to be there. It's helping it cook. That, so that's what I was thinking and um, so for some really really intelligent reason I somehow forgot that I actually wasn't using a gas stove and that it was just like a little coily stove. So fire underneath my pot wasn't really a good sign. So um, I, I saw the fire and I was like, I was staring there at it for like 30 seconds. I don't know why I didn't think of doing something and I was like, oh maybe I'll just film this for YouTube, it'd be really cool. So the second I actually was about to move my camera and you can kind of see the smoke coming out from under the pot in the video, um, my smoke alarm went on and so there was fire and massive amount of noise. So I actually had to stop filming and take the whole physical stove and stick it outside because it was winter at the time so I put it like in the snow and I was just watching the embers <laughs> die and it was like oh my god I can't believe this is happening. I don't know if I have a fire extinguisher, I don't want to burn my apartment down but I could have which is terrifying. So. And so sometimes in recipes where I make a mistake but it's not so incredibly obvious but I have to actually use the product in the video, sometimes I try to hide it and kind of mask it and just to just go along with it and hope you guys don't notice. So 
One of those instances was with the Pocky Nest Cake that I made for Easter, and it's one of my favorite recipes. I love it, I think it's beautiful. But when I was baking that cake, I actually burnt it really, really badly. When I took it out of the oven, I noticed that the whole top of the cake was black. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I was doing the crumb coat part of the scene, where you just saw the cake and it was just right out of the oven and I was spreading on the crumb coat, um, you'll see that the top of the cake was actually cut off. And you don't actually need to do that when you're making the cake, but I burnt it and I wanted to save the cake. So I just ended up like chopping off the first, or slicing off the first thin layer so that nobody would know that I actually burnt the cake. But it wasn't burnt on the inside, thankfully. I served it to my family for Easter dinner and they loved it. I didn't know, I was like, <laughs> I was warning all of them, like this might taste burnt, but just pretend it tastes really good. And so by far, the biggest failure on my channel so far has been the Chanel nail polish gummies video. So I posted that for Mother's Day and it's one of my favorite videos. It turned out beautifully. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And the reason why I'm so, so overjoyed is because the past three times when I tried to make it, it failed miserably. So, so miserably. I was actually gonna make this for my New York Fashion Week theme week way back in September. Oh, God. <laughs> Just the memories themselves are stressful. So when I was making the colorful little nail polish cubes to set in the jelly, I added luster dust and I, cause I just wanted the nail polish to be glittery because I thought that would be so cool if it was actually glittery on the inside. And I don't know if that was why, I honestly don't know why, but I tried making the colored cubes three times and they didn't set at all, at all. I don't know why, I don't know if I heated up the gelatin too much or not enough or the luster dust is what did it, but they wouldn't set. And in the morning that the video was supposed to go up, I was sitting there <laughs> trying to cut the like basically liquid jelly and trying to convince myself that this was set enough to use and it wasn't near, nearly set enough and it was just the most heartbreaking thing. So I remember sitting there at like 3 a.m. just like wondering what, what am I gonna do? Like what, it's supposed to be Chanel. I told people I was gonna do a Chanel video. I don't know what to do. So that's why I actually made the Chanel Onigiri and you guys loved it and I'm so, so glad that you loved it and I love the way it turned out too. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise, I don't know. And so the last story that I'm gonna share with you is actually Tuesday's video. So a lot of you guys have requested that I make some sakura pudding or sakura mousse during my sakura themed week that I did a few weeks ago. And so I was going to do that and I was going to make pink pigs to go with the peanut butter pigs and fill them with sakura mousse. So instead of using milk chocolate for the chocolate filling, I used white chocolate and I mixed in sakura jam. And it tasted really good. I thought it was gonna be like the best idea ever. There'd be like chocolate pigs and then there'd be pink pigs and it would be so cute. And it, it worked out really, really well until the end. So I took thumbnails, <laughs> I took photos, and I took videos of the pink pigs. They looked so cute and so annoying. And um, when I was about to cut it, I realized that um, for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because of the white chocolate, but it didn't set as near, <laughs> nowhere nearly as much as the peanut butter did. So when I went to cut it, it just leaked all over my counter. And I was just sitting there staring at it like, is there any way that, that this could work? <laughs> like, no, because when you, when you go with a fork and you eat it, all you're getting is chocolate because the mousse or the liquid or whatever the heck it had become was just everywhere. But yeah, so those are my stories of the recipes that have completely failed on my part. Um, I hope you like this video. Comment below if you've ever tried a recipe, mine or somebody else's, hopefully not mine, hopefully mine haven't failed for you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you've ever had any experiences like these where you've cooked something and you're really, really excited and it just, it just didn't work, let me know because I would love to kind of hear your stories and we can share and laugh in the comments because you know, it can be so frustrating when a recipe doesn't work out, but you know, it's important to laugh at yourself and it turned into a really fun video today. So yeah, definitely let me know what your experiences are with baking and I will see you next Tuesday for another video. Tuesdays and Thursdays recipes are going to be a bit of a theme and I think it's gonna be really, really cool. So make sure that you check back and make sure you subscribe for more videos and I love you guys so much and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.